I think that both brands and intuition hold equal importance to brands. I think that hopefully in the session that you've seen, you've seen how bringing the two together drives more creativity, more personalization, I think um, things that are better received by the consumer because it's more appropriate to them, and all of it to drive business results. Because ultimately bringing data and intuition or creativity together must drive business results. In our experience, bringing together data and intuition to help brands has um, come in many different forms. Um, in some cases, it's about telling beautiful stories about food, like we did for Tesco, their food love stories, and then using that data to personalize those, the delivery of those stories so that what each consumer received was really important to them and very relevant to them. Because quite frankly, there's nothing more personal than our relationship with food. And in another example, it would be the use of, for example, data and technology, like what we did in Russia for TheraFlu, and used machine learning against the data to be able to predict flus as they were coming through to different towns, to be able to give people the warning that the flus were coming so that they could prepare themselves in order to be able to get the medicines that they might need, get TheraFlu in stock. But the other benefit that we saw there is by being able to predict where the flus were coming, we were also able to help the help their flu make sure that the stock was in. So it also changed their delivery routes as well. So it had both a business benefit as well as a consumer benefit. And of course, great business results for them. Yes, in 2015, I did say that digital is more of a mindset than a medium. I think we've come a long way in the last three years. I think it is a mindset. I think people are thinking much more about how do we use data and how do we, um, how do we use it not just to target and to deploy media, but also how it can be used in the creation of it. So for example, the work that we did with Snickers in Australia for the hunger rhythm, the data was simply you know, the, the social sentiment of the country, how angry they were. And the angrier the country was, the lower the price of Snickers was in 7-Elevens because we were able to give coupon codes which actually had live prices dropping. And so I think that's a beautiful case where digital thinking, it, it wasn't a digital campaign, it was digital thinking in a large campaign that was very much in the family of their hanger campaigns. So I think it worked very well. Um, digital was not just used as a delivery mechanism, but it actually was the content itself. And I think that was very well received.